What's going on, guys? Your boy LQ, Mr. Real Deal Fantasy HQ, and welcome to the Rotoballer Fantasy Sports YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. And today, we're going to be talking about five players you should be avoiding this weekend at all costs. They should be nowhere near your starting lineups. So I don't want to waste any more time. So let's get right into the episode. First up, we got Darren Waller. Yeah, he showed us some life last week, putting up 16 fantasy points, but I got trust issues, man, with him and this entire Giants offense. They're going up against the Bills defense, who are allowing the second fewest fantasy points per game to tight ends, so this isn't such a great matchup to have him in starting lineups, and this Giants offense has just been terrible. They have one of the worst O-lines in the NFL right now. They can't protect Daniel Jones to give him enough time to even get the ball to his pass catcher, so I'm completely fading Darren Waller in this Giants offense until further notice because this Giants offense is also ranked 27th in the NFL on big plays so there's not much juice here for this offense so I'm fading Darren Waller this week against this tough Bills defense Next up, we got Jared Goff on the road versus the Bucks, who were a top five defense. They are playing electric right now this entire season. This Bucks defense are getting turnovers, they're getting sacks, and I don't like Jared Goff on the road because we all know he's not the best fantasy option on the road, being that he's averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the road since 2022. It's not good at all. We all like Jared Goff when he's home. He's comfortable when he's playing on a high level. He's actually QB4 and averaging 21 fantasy points per game when he's at home since 2022. So this week is not a great week to have Jared Goff in your starting lineups. I will be pivoting to other quarterback options this week. Next up, we got Ramondre Stevenson, man. I am completely done with this Patriots offense. I mean, it's look horrendous the last couple of weeks this offense has only scored one touchdown in the last three weeks this o-line is one of the worst o-lines in the nfl right now and hey i hate to say it but Ramondre stevenson it's kind of looking like a bus right now like yeah he's the rb1 for the patriots backfield but he's rb30 out in these fantasy streets and that's not good and he's sharing a backfield with zeke that somewhat looks productive and it's like eh I don't know if I could put Ramondre Stevenson in my starting lineups until further notice, until this Patriots team gets back on track and they have a bounce back game or they're facing a bad defense. But other than that, I don't know if I can put Ramondre Stevenson in any starting lineups or any Patriots player until further notice. Next up, I got Damian Pierce. This is my guy, man. I don't like putting him on this list, but I got trust issues with him also. He's shown some life on the ground the last couple of weeks, 73 rushing yards per game in the last two games. But... Where are the touchdowns? There is no touchdowns here, man. And he's got the Saints this week who have not allowed a rushing touchdown so far this season. And the Saints defense are one of the best red zone defenses in the NFL right now. So I'm not really liking his chances of falling into the end zone or having a productive day. And this Saints defense, they're tough, man. They only allowed one running back to reach 60 rushing yards. And that was King Henry, but he also didn't find the end zone either. So I'm not liking Damian Pierce this week against this tough Saints defense. So I will pivot to other running backs this week. Last and certainly not least, Debo Samuel, man. I hate putting him on this list. This is my guy, man. But the last two weeks, it has not looked good. He had a 6% team target share in the last two games with only three catches. That is not good. I mean, it could be this knee injury that's holding him back from his full fantasy potential. But man, even with this matchup, it's not looking good with this Browns defense. They're allowing the fewest fantasy points per game to wide receivers. Only 10 points per game they're allowing the wide receivers. And listen, only one wide receiver this entire season has went over nine fantasy points. So I don't like Debo's upside this week i would pivot to other wide receiver options but man this blows for a guy that we know is so talented and electric and can change the game at any moment but i think it's his knee injury that's hurting him so i would be putting him on the bench until further notice until he's more healthier or maybe after when they have they buy so hopefully I can help you guys out this weekend for five players that you should be avoiding at all costs. They should not be in your starting lineups, but this was another great episode of Rotoballer Fantasy Sports YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe and let's get these subscribers up. We're almost at 20K people. Let's keep it going. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you guys can follow me at Real Deal Fantasy on all social media platforms. Until next time.